Hello there, I am planning a lesson um, where we're going to use Plato and Floss to examine the cross sections of 3D shapes, uh, both perpendicular to the bases and parallel to the bases. And we're going to look at some other cuts. I just wanted to talk about some things I'm realizing early in the planning process. So first of all, I built six shapes. And what I did for almost all of them was I used these models right here. I actually found them to be really helpful. Um, and in some of the shapes, it was really easy to use them. So for example, the cone is super easy to use the model. You wedge the Play-Doh in there, and then you take uh, either a plastic knife or even a butter knife, and you just kind of uh, you know, put the knife in and scrape them on the edges, and the cone will pop out. And there might be some imperfections when the cone comes out, but you can then just fix that with your hand. I only needed a little three ounce, uh, oops, <laughs> I only needed a little three ounce Play-Doh to fill that. Um, the sphere was the only one that the model didn't work on, but that's okay. That one was super easy to build by hand, you just roll it. The cylinder, um, that one actually, on this little model right here, uh, I required like a, a Play-Doh, a 12 ounce container and a three ounce container. Um, the square pyramid, also, this one was surprisingly easy to use the model for. Just like the cone, the square pyramid was nice and easy to throw into the model. It got a little bit messy in there, but that's okay. Uh, and then I just used the butter knife uh, to kind of scrape it out. And that took a 12 ounce can, just one of the bigger cans like this. All right? Actually a little bit less, there's some left over in there, I can feel it. Uh, the hardest one to build was the cube. So if you're thinking about uh, your students or whoever you're working with to build this, the cube was super difficult. Uh, it required a full 12 ounce can and a three ounce can. Uh, it kept getting stuck inside the model. And uh, my solution, as you can see here, was to use some baby powder. I just kind of smeared the baby powder, um, not on the Play-Doh, uh, but in the model itself, I rolled it around. You can see the model is kind of messy right here, right? It's got all the baby powder inside. But that made it really easy to get this shape out. Without the baby powder, uh, it was really hard to use the model. And then I found the most difficult one. So if you're thinking about, you know, who should build what shapes, the triangular uh, prism, as you can tell, didn't come out too good. That was really hard, uh, even with baby powder, to get that to work in the shape. I tried to wedge it in there, tried to fish it out. I just couldn't get it to work perfectly. But I'll show in the next video uh, how the floss cuts through all of these, so you can see how well the cross sections come out, and think about that for your own lesson. Um, but one last thing to consider is uh, the time. So I didn't run this in class yet, but I will soon. Uh, by myself to build six shapes it took me over a half an hour, and it was messy and difficult. So I'm thinking um, either this is something that a table works on together and they split the shapes up, um, or partners or groups of three work on this. But this is certainly um, something that's not going to fit in one lesson if you want students to do look at all the shapes. It takes at least a half an hour to build six. Um, and that's for me, maybe you're faster, but that was for me. Also, I would say that um, the sphere was easy to build by hand, of course, but I would imagine a lot of these shapes you don't need the models for. You can probably, if you give students either some kind of putty knife or like um, a plastic um, butter knife like this, or just like a hard, rigid surface, just talk to the art teacher or go to an arts and crafts shop. There's probably all sorts of tools you can use to build these by hand. And also you can just kind of use your hands to get a pretty close approximation. Um, so I think that would suffice. All right, in the next video, we're gonna cut these things and see how well they come out. Thanks.